Good morning, y'all. It's Captain Kirk here. So, I know y'all liked my review of the Fuse Echo Pads. And I've, I've used those uh, for a couple years. This year, I decided to go to the upgrade, and I picked up the Omegas. The knee shin combo, as well as the ankles. So, I want to start off and saying Fuse Pads are freaking awesome. I love them. I've had tons of pads in the four years that I've been riding BMX. I mean, I've tried, like, for example, the Shadow Invisalite, uh, some Troy Lee's, some Triple Eight, some other stuff. But I keep coming back to Fuse Pads. So, let's get into it. First, I'm going to talk about the angle guards. They work and they're awesome. Uh, these are a small slash medium. They fit me just perfectly. No issues. You know, awesome. Um, now, to the knee shin combo. These are awesome pads. And um, I will say, unlike the, the, the Echoes, um, I, they got a medium because that's what you know, the size of my legs fell into. But on these Omegas, um, I had also had a fitting issue. So my thighs, which are muscular, you know, I'm not a skinny, I don't have skinny little chicken legs or nothing. Um, so my thighs fit in a XL size. My calves and all that other stuff fit in a medium size. So it's advised, you know, you go up a size. So, as you can tell, <laughs> you see all these little stretch mark cracks in there. The top is, it fits right. But, again, this whole lower area doesn't, doesn't put any pressure to hold the pad up. So, uh, for me, again, kind of like I had the same thing with the Echoes, the, the knee pad slides down and sits likes to sit like this instead of over the knee. So it sits like that. Um, so, I mean, that is an issue. So, like, I'm, again, you know, I don't have a typical body shape. I actually have muscles and calves and quads, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, pads just don't really fit my type of body. They just, They just don't. Um, but I have that same problem with clothes, you know, a lot of clothes don't really fit me right, uh, because most clothes aren't designed for athletic built people, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're either made for people who are overweight or skinny, <laughs> like there's like no happy in between, you know? So, um, but anyway, let's go, let's talk protection. So these have awesome protection. Uh, it's not as much as the Echo. But these are slimmer. Uh, I will say uh, the shin portion does a great job. Knee portion does a great job. But I will tell you this. When I fall on my knees or I blast the crap out of my shin, my shin with like a pedal or something, I still feel it. But it's not as sharp or crazy of a pain. Uh, obviously there's not digging into, you know, into my shins or anything. Uh, but I will say on the back of the leg, there is no protection. So like, you know, anything that hits back leg, there's just one from a little mark right there. It's from a peg going in. Uh, so there's, there's no protection on the back side of your legs, um, at all. So, um, and the other thing that I'll also say is these are pretty durable. If, as long as you wear them under pants. Um, if you wear shorts and stuff, these aren't really that durable, um, to be honest with you. Uh, just the few hits on the back of the pads that I've had, you know, it's already causing tearing that you can see it's not even stretching, you know, it has little holes in it. Um, which is, you know, it's kind of sad because these are a very expensive pad. I mean, between the ankle guards and these knee shin combos, you know, we're looking at almost fucking... You're, you're well over a hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? Like you're closer to 200, um, but you know, after shipping, depending on where you're getting them from, um, cause they're 
you're usually out of stock everywhere, um, especially an XXL size and XL size, because um, that seems like the size that most adults would wear, I think. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of interesting. So, like, for me, I love these pads. I wear them every time I ride. They're great. Um, like I said, they're, they're fine as long as I keep adjusting them. Um, but I don't know. It, it's very interesting. The, the, the sizing, um, uh, that they go for these. It's like, there's no, the, the sizing so broad of a range. You know, I, to me, it doesn't seem like most people would get a good fit. I mean, cause I don't, it's just, it's just weird to me. You know, it's like, um, you know, your thigh and your calves aren't going to be a tied together measurement. So, you know, like for me, I'm, I'm always, regardless what pad I am, I always fall in between some weird stuff to where I can either choose the bottom of my leg to fit or the top of my leg to fit. I can't get both. Um, but yeah, another, but out of fitment, which is more of a personal issue. These are great. They're freaking great. Um, Especially considering how much less bulky they are. But I will say, if you are going to be riding in the summertime, primarily in shorts, I would recommend, like, the Echoes. Uh, these are great. Um, and they are somewhat decently breathable. Uh, I will say that. Uh, so that that's good. Uh, but the, my main concern is, you know, if you ride in shorts, the, there's nothing to protect this material. And it's not exactly, you know, the craziest straw material. It's not fragile by any means. It's not like if you, it's not as like weak as say if you go get a pad from Walmart or something. Because there's still, I mean, it's still pretty thick elastic and rubber in this. Especially that part. But, you know, it's just, uh, you know, if you ride a metal pedal or you have metal pins in your plastic pedals, uh, you know, that will catch on this and it will rip. Um... But that's going to be with, like, any pad that uses a compression style. So that's not, a, you know, a dig at fuse pads. So that's that's going to be with everybody. So that's to be expected. But overall, I love these pads. I love fuse pads. You know, it's just, um, they're hard to get. Like, it, it's just, they sell out so quick because they're that popular. They're that good. People just buy them and they're gone, you know. Um... You're more, mainly, like I said, the bigger sizes, the XL, the XXL, those are gone because that's probably, like I said, most adults or even, like, even your younger riders. Like, I think, you know, somebody that's, you know, riding every day, you know, and, like, has a decently muscular leg structure, you're going to have some fitment issues. It's just, just kind of how it is. But overall... They fit great. And that sounds weird. Because they're like, oh, I have to fix them. But you got to remember, I'm nitpicking right now. So, I mean, that's just me, you know. And I will say, like, they're not even starting to slide until after, you know, I get warmed up. You know, because once they get warmed up, you get a little moisture or sweat or whatever. You know, it's like this little, this little grip thing doesn't do anything. See, so you think on the inside, you just got this little rubber piece. That's what holds it on. And the compression. There's nothing else in there except for the sleeve, you know, so, um, and if this is stretched, com stretched out, you know, because it's fitting over your leg, you know, for example, so, you know, let's say I put it over my leg and I stretch this, you know, to go around my entire leg, it's going to fall down just because, just because the leg is going to push it down. You see what I'm saying? So, boom. It's just gonna, it just sits and it slides. But like I said, that's more of because of my legs rather than, you know, the pad design. Um, but yeah, I, I really like them. I think you'll like them. Buy them. But like I said, if you want more padding, I recommend the Echoes um, because they do have more pad coverage. Um, but they are bulkier. That's exchange. These are thin and they work great. So if you like to have a less bulky pad, Fuse Omega's the way to go. You know, they're just, they're awesome. Um, yeah, leave me uh, any questions, comments, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, 
go get you some fuse pads. They're great. Not to mention, I mean, they're all partnered up with We The People and Eclaw. They're like the most innovative company, BMX company right now, in BMX. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I'm not don't forget about Alien Nation, because they're they're pretty badass too. But anyway, this is getting long. We're already over ten minutes. You know. Don't really need to talk about a pad for ten minutes. It's a pad. So go got go buy some pads. If you don't buy these, buy some pads. Like take it for me. I'm about to be 37 years old. I, I just started riding, you know, in my mid-30s. And uh sorry, one second here. And I'll tell you what, when I was younger, I didn't wear pads um, when I was doing my other sports. Um, and I'll tell you what, now that I'm older, I feel all of those falls and injuries that would have been shaved off, you know, like 20% 20, 20 of impact would have been transferred to my body based from the pads or whatever, you know. that All that extra shock and those beatings, you know, like... They come back as, you know, like bone spurs and calcium deposits and all these other things that a lot of them could have been avoided if I just wore pads, you know. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have, stay safe riding. Uh, don't forget to check out 217BMX. Uh, follow 217BMX uh, crew on Instagram. Um, and, yeah, have fun riding. Don't forget to learn a new trick today. If you didn't have motivation to learn a new trick today, learn one now. You can always do the tricks that you do every other day, whenever, because you do them all the time. So go out there, spend a day, learn something new, and ride your bike. Get outside. Enjoy nature. And human-made nature, which is oh, the fun stuff. The streets, you know what I'm saying? Riding them streets in the parks. All great. Fuse Omega Pads. Go get them. Peace.